hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to analog electronics and so far we're discussing about uh, uh, some important questions related to diode circuits also we have discussed some questions related to zener diodes so in this video we are going to discuss about another very important concept related to diodes which is the uh, diode equation or it is also called as uh, diode current equation. So we have already uh, discussed about the biasing of uh, diodes and we know that pn junction diodes are can be in forward bias mode connected in forward bias mode or reverse bias mode and also uh, we have discussed their uh, volt ampere characteristics when this is connected to positive the pn connected to positive and then connected to negative then the diode is said to be forward biased and when it is the opposite that is p end is connected to negative is connected to positive that is reverse biased and we have discussed the uh, volt ampere characteristics for p n junction diode in forward biased and reverse bias mode so for forward biased the behavior is something like this okay where the cut in voltage is somewhere around 0 0.7 volt forward this is for silicon and 0 0.3 volt for germanium so let us say let us call it the cut in voltage also called as the uh, built in potential okay let us call it the cut in voltage the built in potential so which is 0 0.7 volt for silicon and 0 0.3 volt for germanium and then in the reverse bias mode uh, the diode takes a lot of time when the reverse voltage is increased and then there is a sharp increase in current which is called as the Zener breakdown voltage okay and it depends from diode to diode which is mentioned in the specification sheet so this is the reverse voltage this is the reverse current so there is negligible current up to this point the Zener breakdown voltage which is a, a comparatively higher as compared to the built in potential and then when the breakdown happens then it behaves as a Zener diode behaving as a constant uh, voltage supply which is the Zener voltage okay so where the diode current equation comes is that the voltage and current relationship of uh, a pn junction diode it can be specified in terms of the diode current equation relationship between the applied voltage and current so it can be written as i is equal to i0 into e to the power exponential v by v subscript t v subscript uh, eta vt minus 1 this okay this is eta vt okay let us make it clear that there is no confusion this is e to the power v by eta vt minus 1 this is the diode current equation here 
I is the diode current or the current flowing through the diode. V is the applied voltage across the diode. Okay, these are variable. It can be changed. When voltage is changed, current also changes. Now the constant things. First, we have eta, which is called as the ideality factor. Okay, ideality factor and it varies from one diode to the other. The popular choices for germanium, eta is equal to 1. For silicon, eta equals to 2. Then we have Vt which is called as the thermal voltage okay thermal voltage okay and uh, that is given by kt by q which is where k is the boltzmann constant t is the temperature in kelvin q is the electronic charge normally it is taken in between 25 millivolt to 26 millivolt because at room temperature it is taken normally we have 26 millivolt you will find uh, most of the time 26 millivolt is taken otherwise it is mentioned in the question and another way to calculate this Vt is it is given by T by 11600 okay T in degree Kelvin divided by 11600 so at any particular temperature okay in kelvin you can find out the thermal voltage by putting this formula okay t in degree kelvin divided by 11600 so it is called as the volt equivalent of temperature And then the important parameter I0 which is called as reverse saturation current. So what is this reverse saturation current is that we know that the diode can be connected in forward biased mode and reverse bias mode. Now suppose the diode is connected in reverse bias mode and the reverse voltage is continuously increased and this reverse voltage is kept on increase uh, is uh, kept on increasing up to a point that it is much greater than the thermal voltage which is equal to 26 millivolt in the negative direction okay so when it increases beyond 26 millivolt a very uh, the difference between them is much high and at room temperature 26 27 degree celsius or 300 degree kelvin the diode current the current flowing in the reverse direction that is equal to minus i0 a constant value it attains so this saturated value saturated constant value in the negative direction when the reverse voltage is increased much beyond the thermal voltage at room temperature that is 27 degree Celsius or 300 degree Kelvin. That value is called as reverse saturation current. It is a constant value and it varies from one diode to the other and it is always mentioned in the question where you have to take that particular value or it is mentioned in the specification sheet which is available uh, manufacturers provide it and uh, also when uh, you are asked to uh, you know in a particular question where data is given you have to calculate this value also depending on the data which is given so in a way it is these are the constant values the reverse saturation current the ideality factor and the thermal voltage okay these are the constants and these two the diode current and applied voltage they are the only variable quantities as you 
change the voltage, the diode current changes accordingly. So, we will discuss a lot of questions related to this uh, diode current equation so that we are clear about all these concepts. So, this is the basic concept. So, we will discuss questions to understand it in a better way.